The range of causes of uveitis are many. It's actually an umbrella term that covers about 30 different disease processes that are all characterized by inflammation. We can basically break them down into three main sections. So inflammatory uh, inflammation secondary to an infectious process such as Lyme disease, syphilis, or tuberculosis. It can also be secondary to a systemic disease such as Bassett's disease or sarcoid disease or even multiple sclerosis. And then a third category would be an undifferentiated uveitis, meaning that we did a full workup, we didn't find an underlying systemic disease that's associated with it, we didn't find something infectious, but you still have inflammation that hasn't been, doesn't have a differentiated cause for it. The most important advances in the treatment of uveitis in the last few years have been steroid sparing agents. Up until now, we've usually used steroids as systemic treatment when uveitis has not been able to be controlled, either with topical steroids um, and having the option of using other medications other than systemic steroids has made a huge difference. Systemic steroids do a lot to help a patient in an acute setting, but unfortunately they have a lot of side effects such as weight gain, um, change in mood. A lot of people are very irritable and just do not do well on steroids for long-term treatment. Also, you can have issues with osteoporosis, especially in older females and so forth. So having the option of medications that allow us to get people off of steroids quickly has made a huge difference. Um, in addition to that, having other treatment options other than just topical or, um, or PO medications has made a big difference too. So being able to do injections to treat uveitis has come a long way. I always make sure uveitis patients understand that this could potentially be a lifelong disease process. Um, with exacerbations and unfortunately for some people be a chronic disease that needs to be treated um, both systemically. I want patients to understand that if they don't follow up or if unfortunately they have a very aggressive form of uveitis, we may be going down the path of also having to treat glaucoma and cataracts and the complications of just having uveitis in general. So I always want patients to understand that we need to have a team approach, have a plan going forward, and know that there, this may be a long-term relationship that we're having, and treating them for many, many years with other medications, even immunomodulating medications. I think there's so many new medications and drugs coming down the pipeline that are much more targeted. As good as some of the immunomodulators have been in helping us to not have to use systemic steroids, there still is a need for more targeted approach so that we're not completely suppressing a person's immune system, but also now having the option to actually target the receptors or the inflammatory cells that are um, causing the uveitis. So the idea of having either injectable medications around the eye, inside the eye, or systemic medications that are more targeted and have a lot less side effects, I think will not only help patients get over their uveitis better, hopefully, but will also decrease the amount of side effects that patients have. And that becomes a big issue with compliance. When patients have a lot of bad side effects, it's hard to convince them to continue taking this medication.